Hello and welcome back to OAP Gaming and The Last Remnant Remastered. In the last episode we did some rares and guess what? In this episode we are doing some rares. Now, how many we do, I will be honest, is dependent upon how long it takes me to do each one. So the first one we're going to go for is, as you can see, we're here by Blackdale and we are looking for Dominator. So, the Dominator is a Spirit Lord and it will be casting Curse. So that will be the first one and because we're hunting rares, etc. And I don't want to bore you with zoning in and out, I will do my usual trick. Oh, hit the wrong button. I'll do my usual trick of making a save and then if it's not there when I go in I will just reload the save and you will rejoin me when it has spawned. So I will see you when the Dominator has spawned. So the Dominator has finally spawned. Try to avoid up. Oh. Let's do this. I tried to avoid the uh, spiders, but we've got a couple with them. So, it took me about an hour of zoning in and out to get the Dominator to spawn. He is a spirit lord, therefore he will be casting a curse on the first turn. So, we'll take that opportunity to take out the spiders. Come on, let's kick some A. What's this? Ah! Looks like we're up against quite the nasties. Hmm. I'm going to do that.
feel stronger than before! Yes, I think you do need that. Okay. So, that's the Dominator out of the way. Let me just show you exactly where it is. It's here. This is where you come in. Just there. And then you have to run all the way down here to there. So, I, the next one we're going for is Prometheus. And that is in Lava Fender. So, I will see you when we are there and Prometheus has spawned. So there is Prometheus. Let's try to avoid these landworms. Let's do this! We got really lucky with this one. I think I only had to zone in and out about twice before it spawned. So let's see how we do. You just stand your toes for a minute. Come on, let's kick some A. Hard enough? Let's kick him harder. This spinning ladder is can be deadly. Wait, there you go. It. And it's a added of effect. It can affect the whole battlefield. It can take out all your units. So this can be tricky. Because again, what, what are we? BR rank 10, which is a very, very low level for taking on things like Prometheus. Well, any of the rares, really. Yes, we have to bring them back. Let's have a look, what are you here? You are there and there and there and there. I think I prefer you to take Paddle Eyes. We just have to hope to that, that Prometheus doesn't keep Go using down, spinning lariat because it it's deadly. Three. No, it's doing it again. Aha! But you paralyzed, my friend. Not this time. That helps us out a lot when they paralyze it. Everywhere we it. go, slime like you are creeping around. Oh, not there. I think, yeah, I think that looks good to me. Let's go for it. We've got that. We've got that. I think I prefer that one, if I'm honest. Paralyze him again. Oh. Nice one, nice one, nice one. Let's keep up this rhythm for the next battle. Yeah, battle I hope I've grown stronger than before. And we've captured him. Oh, we've got some blueprint fours as well. And what we've got here, Dark Big Bone Rotten. Oh, yes, we want some of that. Elven Core. This is another place you can get an Elven Core. It is a guild task. If you don't get it anywhere else, you can get it here as well. I believe... Blocker wants the rotten meat, so we shall split that just so he can have what he wants. So let me just show you where we are. Like I say, lava fender. Yeah. It's where you meet the flame guardian, as I've said. So the next one on the agenda is Ore Cruncher, and that is in Numa Mines. I'll just pick this up while we're here. That is in Numa Mines. Okay, later. So I will see you when that one has spawned. And there is the Ore Cruncher. Let's do this! He didn't spawn straight away. This took about 30 or 40 minutes of me just zoning in and out until it, it finally spawned. So, this is what, is this our 
Come on, let's kick Fall some through. air. Check this out. Uh, don't them. No, the third, the third rare. Not the most difficult to beat. Piece of cake. Sweet. I must surpass my mother. And we don't need anything from there, so we're gonna we're gonna keep him. We're not gonna split that one. We'll pick that up while we're here. Come on. Like I say, it took about 30 minutes, 40 minutes of constant okay, later. zoning in and out. I only mention these things so that if you're going to do 100% yourself, that you are aware that it can take a fair bit of time. Here we are on the map. We're not far from the entrance, so I will show you. Be careful of those little ghosty things here, so we'll... Try and get you. And the Orc Cruncher only spawns if there isn't a vicious plant in that area where we've just fought. So head to the world map. So that's three rares we've done. So very productive. So now we are going over to the Ivory Peaks. Now here, we are looking for two rares. We are looking for a Ruler of the Dawn, but we also want the Anthidilium Needle from it as well. So not only do we have to beat it, we need it to do a drop for us as well. And we're also looking for Nano Tyrannus. And we also need a Retro Feral Fang Scale from that which means we may have to fight them more than once to get the drops we need. And especially the Ruler of the Dawn, because that is a, a guild task for the Sword of the Realm, and I think it's level one or something like that, to open it up, and you will need this if you're wanting to get the Mystic Seal formation, which I do. So, just so you know. So I will do the usual thing, I will save it, and uh, if, I, if, if they're not there, I will just keep reloading. And you will join me when either Ruler of the Dawn or Nano Tyrannus appears. So I will see you then. So there is the Nano Tyrannus. Let's do this! Nice work. Not the hardest one to beat. Let's keep up this rhythm for the next battle. Retral Federal Fang Scale, that is what we were after. So we shall split that. That's what we wanted as well as defeating him. So we finally got that as well. So we will just exit here. So now what we're looking for, we're going to be in the same area. In the Ivory Peaks, yes, Rago, so you keep saying. Yes, Emmett. 
So we're here still in the Ivory Peaks because what we want now is ruler of the dawn, but we also want the anthedilithium needle or whatever, however you pronounce it. So once again, do my usual trick because it's a rare and we need some drops and splits. We shall, I shall save it and you will rejoin me when the ruler of the dawn has spawned. So that is the ruler of the dawn. Let's do this. This didn't take that long, maybe four or five times zoning in and out. So we got pretty lucky there. Come on, let's kick some A. What are you doing? Nice! Seems our opponents are strong, as I hoped. Check this out! Let's keep up this rhythm for the next battle. I must surpass my mother. I know I'm good. I feel stronger than I did before. So, that is the anthophilium needle we wanted as well. So we got pretty lucky there, getting it the first time around. There have been times when I've had to con uh, repeat, fight this one to get the anthophilium, <laughs> I still can't say it, needle. Um, so yeah, so we got lucky there, so we split that. I think I said earlier in, in this episode that this was needed for rank one of the Sword of the Three Realms. It isn't, it's needed for rank two. Now, even if you're not doing 100% playthrough like I'm doing, if you're wanting to get the Mystic Seal formation, which is excellent formation for building up your combat arts and hexes, you will have to do this. You will have to unlock rank five of the Sword of the Three Realms, and this is rank two. So you've killed two birds with one stone there. So, that's that done. Whoop. So let's exit this area. So, let's see what we've done today. We've done the Dominator, we did Prometheus, we did the Ore Cruncher, we did Ruler of the Dawn and got the Anthem Needle thing. We did Nano Tyrannus and got the Federal, the Rachel Federal Fang Scale. So what's that? That's one, two, three, five rares we've done in this epitose. More guild task done, been very, productive episode indeed so I think this is a perfect place to stop in the next episode we will be doing more we'll be doing some guild tasks we'll be turning them in and we'll be depending how long it takes me I'm hoping to do a couple of quests as well we've got quite a few quests coming up so if you've enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, especially if you've found it informative and helpful. If you've looked for any of these rares before and you haven't been able to find them or you've been wanting some of the drops and you don't know where to get them, then please, like I say, hit that like button. It really helps me out. 
Leave a comment if you so desire. Good, bad or indifferent, I appreciate all of them. Any questions about the game? Bum them in the comments, I shall do my very best to answer them. And even consider subscribing. It's absolutely free, it costs you nothing, you've got nothing to lose. And you won't miss an episode of me rambling on <laughs> and walking you through 100% completion of this game, which I have to admit, it is one of my favourite games. I cannot tell you how many hours I have, but trust me, <laughs> it is a lot. So, anyway, I hope you join me for the next one. Until then, thank you so much for watching. It is really appreciated.